Hello, and welcome to Wacky Wednesday with Sandy. So I'm here today uh, to just have a little bit of fun uh, and celebrate a little bit. We're going to have a little party. So sign on in, tune in, and let's talk about parties. So hope everybody out there is able to tune in today. Um, missed you last week I was uh, outstanding in my field got back just in time to do uh, some too cute to spook with people but here I am back on regular wacky Wednesday so to everybody who's out there and listening I just want to do a little shout out to some of the people who have been watching so diligently and have also stopped in at the store and said hello to everybody so hi Teresa S yes, I see Teresa is uh clicking in and saying hi so that's the first one thank you so much so I just want to say thank you to the following people and uh, just say that, that I'm very grateful that you do tune in and, and stop and visit and, and watch us so to Nicole sorry Nicola P Carol G Neil B Billy P oh there's Ann hi Ann Hi, Tina. Hi, Rhonda. Um, also want to shout out to Shelly M. and Tina, which you just, uh, Tina, who just uh, logged in. Loan L. Ann S. Teresa S. Audrey H. Uh, Denise B. Ann P. Dash L. Sharon M. Brenda H. Glenda Ann, Mike, I find that I have some gentlemen watchers as well. Carol Ann M, Teresa W, Carol F, Wendy C, Lana T. And hi to Phyllis as well. I see she has tuned in to us now as well. Thanks, Phyllis. I just want to make a, a special shout out to Mary Zed. Uh, thank you very much for the cake that you brought in the other day. Every, all the chocolate lovers were just enthralled and had a wonderful time eating your cake. So thank you so much. Now, from the last Wacky Wednesday on Halloween, the big question was white meat or dark meat? Well, the votes have been tabulated. It is in and it's white meat was the favorite. Uh, nobody really liked the turducken. Nobody said that they did. And I just shout out to Audrey. How was the plant-based chicken? I'm sure it was tasty. Anyways, thank you to those people who had uh, tuned in for that Wacky Wednesday. Now, for this Wacky Wednesday, we're going to do a little celebrating. Uh, I just thought, you know, it's time to have a party. Well, and then I was given the most wonderful opportunity because all of a sudden now we can have a party about something that's important. And so I just want to say that we are going to take a walk down memory lane because today, well actually two days ago, was my sewing room's 20th anniversary. So I'm going to take you back to where it all began. Are you ready? Anyways, just think in the year 2001, the hit movies of that year were Spy Kids. And that went on to have four more movies throughout a, a length of 10 years. So if you didn't get enough of the first Spy Kids, you got it three more times. Really good. Uh, Bridget Jones's Diary came out that year. That one had two more movies and a baby. So that was kind of a fun show. And then Shrek the movie came out for the first time. There were four more of those. In fact, we had 15 years of Shrek. And I think that's a lot of Shrek, to tell you the truth. Uh, the next one that came out was Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Uh, she also had one more movie. And I got to tell you, it probably stopped there. Because who can fit into that outfit after a few years? And then the next movie out was Legally Blonde. So who could have guessed that knowing what a perm is and knowing how to care for a perm would actually win you a court case. Anyways, Legally Blonde came out that year. So we've got another hello to Ann S. And a happy anniversary from Rose L. Thank you. Um, also came out that year was Monsters, Inc. And that movie just went to prove to us that laughter is the best medicine. 
the more you laugh the better you feel and of course my absolute favorite came out that year in 2001 it was harry potter and the philosopher's stone or the sorcerer's stone depending on what country you were in anyways that one went on to be a huge hit and really really enjoyed that had never read the books prior to that so that really got us started on reading the stories so i got to tell you then the hit tunes of 2001 Mm, I didn't even know any of them. I don't know. I must have been living under a rock. Don't Stop Moving by S Club 7. Can't Get You Out of My Head by Kylie Minogue. Hanging by a Moment by Lighthouse. I might vaguely know that one, but not so sure. All for You by Janet Jackson. All right, so I'm not really a big music buff, as you could probably tell from the singing that I've done. Um, I do like to read. And the New York Times fiction bestsellers, that list, was First to Die by James Patterson. It was the Woman's Murder Club. And believe it or not, this year in 2021... He has just published his 21st novel, 21st birthday, by the same author for that book. So some things change, some things stay the same. But there it is. He's now got 21. Another one of our favorite authors that year that made the uh, top fiction list was Sue Grafton. If anybody does the... Um, Kinsey Milhome detective ones. She was on P is for Peril, having started at A is for Alibi and worked her way up. This is kind of sad, but this is her last one. She just put this one out. It's Y is for Yesterday. She passed away. Her family said that they would not produce number Z. So that's it. Anyways, for 20 years, we've been reading her stories, which was wonderful. John Grisham, of course, had to have a couple out that year. He did Skipping Christmas and a Painted House. He's gone on to do 36 novels since then, a collection of short stories and a children's collection as well. So that's kind of interesting for that year. Top TV shows in 2001. Friends, of course, and it went on for 10 years. That's enough friends. Anyways, we also had CSI Crime Scene Investigation, original CSI with Gil Grissom and Sarah Seidel. Well, if you blinked and missed it, don't worry, they're back on. Gil Grissom and Sarah Seidel have come back after a 20-year hiatus to CSI. Also that was on the top shows that year was ER, and it went for 15 years. Everybody Loves Raymond, nine years. Law and Order, 20 years. So they actually finished up this year. The Law and Order original is gone. Survivor, they've done 41 seasons. I can't imagine, but they have. And the other big top one from 2001 was Monday Night Football. But Monday Night Football is still big. And it's now been going for 49 years. I cannot believe that. That is incredible. All right, some of the top inventions of 2001. The Abacor artificial heart was developed. An artificial liver was developed. And a gyroplane. It's, it's a plane. It's a helicopter. No, it's a gyroplane. Anyways, that came out that year. They also brought out a fuel cell bike. So all those people you see out there just pedaling away in the sunshine, They've got their fuel cell on there and they're going. It's been 20 years since digital satellite radio started. And the first one to come out was XM, followed not too long after that by Sirius Radio. I can't believe that, they, that it's been 20 years, but here it is. They also developed that year a wrinkle-free shirt. It, it was made out of titanium alloy fibers. Not something I'd make a quilt out of, but you could take all the creases out with a hair dryer. So all you had to do was warm it up and give it a little, and it's really good. <laughs> Anyways, just going to stop for a second and say hi to Neil and hi to Carol and hi to Sandy. And I presume she's, Neil says we're late, so hi to Loann as well. Other things that came out this year, and I don't know if these little stinkers made it uh, for very long, but they brought out stink-free shoes. 
I have yet to find a pair of those. The other thing that was 20 years ago, believe it or not, and I still have mine, iPod. iPod is celebrating its 20th anniversary as well. This is the one that the kids got me. I don't know if it still works. I think you have to try and plug it in and see if it'll go. Also, 20 years is iTunes itself, the Macintosh version. So for those of you who used to listen to music on the iPods, 20 years. 20 years. Unbelievable. All right. So also things that uh, happened in Canada in 2001. These are the news stories for this year. Um, of course, we had a liberal government. It was Prime Minister Jean Chrétien at that time. Things don't change much. We still got a liberal government with Trudeau 2.0. Uh, next one is the, the Alberta government. We had a progressive uh, conservative government with Ralph Klein. We now have Jason Kenney. Some things never change. Some things get better, some things don't. Anyways, the, in Canada that year, we had our governor general was Adrian Clarkson. Uh, and I don't know if you saw some of the funny comical things you know, like Saturday Night Live and stuff, they, they spoofed her and said, I'm Adrian Clarkson and you're not. So anyways, we're not. This year, we broke with tradition. We actually got Mary Simon, who is our first Indigenous Governor General. So we wish her luck in that job. The Bank of Canada that year brought out the new tens, and those are the ones that had the little silver hologram on them so that we couldn't copy them. Uh, can't say much for the $10 bills we've got now, those little wrinkly things. I'm sure if you got them cold, they'd rip in half. Um, five, Canada becomes the first country in the world to legalize medical marijuana. Well, now, what, 20 years later, we've legalized it for everybody. So there you go. Uh, one other thing, Chris Hatfield became the first Canadian to perform a spacewalk. So that is pretty cool. I don't know if we've done too many after that. A terrible news story of that year from 2001, of course, was September 11th, 9-11, the attacks. So there was some good, there was some bad, very interesting. We're still fighting terror 20 years later, so we'll see. However, the biggest, biggest news story that topped all of those for 2001 was the creation, the establishment of my sewing room. Now, I might get a little teary here, but uh, hi, Loanne. Hi, Denise. Yes, thank you. Happy anniversary. So in 2001, I can just see Michael's face when Anne came home and said, you know what, Michael? I want to start a quilt store. I uh, can't imagine if, you know, what he would have said or thought, but he supported her. And she created a store called My Sewing Room. I'm quite sure she probably scraped up every dollar she had and then borrowed some to get going. But in 2001, the store, My Sewing Room, was created. It was located to when it started out on Elbow Drive. And I know that I've heard the stories. Uh, Elaine, Anne's mom, was a very big part of that. And the two of them worked endlessly hours on end to get that store up and running and make it a success. Now, that store um, had been on Elbow Drive for five years. I presume that they ran out of space, is all I can say. And so in 2006, they decided to make a move. So the kinfolk said, Anne, move away from there, said Heritage Hill is the place you want to be. So she loaded up the truck and she moved to Heritage. Heritage Hills, that is. Beaver Lumber, Spa Lady, House of Tools. Anyway, so there she came, 2006, came to this door, came and uh, luckily started up. I had to go and check the uh, lovely brick that's at the front door to make sure I wasn't making an error on the year this year as to <laughs> what the anniversary we were actually selling or saving or practicing. Anyway, so now 2006, we opened at this current location. I got to tell a little story. Um, I came to the store 
couple of times um, visited, <laughs> as all quilters do. But in 2010, I stopped in with my, my husband and son. They were waiting in the car for me. I had broke my last needle threader. So I came in to get a needle threader. And as my story goes, I came out with a job. Um, I went in and got my purchases. I dealt with Ruth at the counter, went back out. My, my family sitting in the truck pointing at a sign in the window. And at that time, Anne advertised for new people with a sign in the window. And they said, Mom, you could do that. And I got all scared and sick to my stomach and said, you got to be kidding me. No, 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 you can do that. So I went and read the sign. We went home. My son said, okay, here, let me help you. This is my son says, let me help you with your resume because I had been a stay-at-home mom working for my husband for many years at this point. So anyways, I made my new, I made up my resume, got really quite anxious, came in and went up to the first person I met at the store that day and it was Betty. And I said to Betty, hi, I'd like to apply for the job that you have advertised in your window. I brought my resume. She looks at me and she says, do you have a minute? And I said, yeah, sure. Okay, I want you to meet somebody. Well, there we went. We trooped all the way upstairs, and there's Anne, Missy, and I think there was someone else in the room at the time too, but there was the five of us up there, and she hands my resume to Anne, and Anne's looking it over, and she says, yeah, okay, yeah, mm, no, I don't know. I don't know about her. Um, she says, what days are you available? And I said, every day, but Thursdays. Why not Thursdays? Well, I have a quilting group. It's at the Queensland Community Centre. Well, little did I know that Anne knew of our quilting group and knew of Queensland Community Centre and everything. And while we're talking, she's printing off an manual for employment. So she hands it to me. She says, give me a call. Tell me what you think. Well, I was so excited. I was so nervous. I went home and I said to my kid, I said, read this through and make sure it's all good. Like I can do this. And he, he read it through and says, yeah, mom, no problem. You can do this. So bright and early the next morning, I phoned Anne back and said, oh, I'd love to work. Um, she says, okay, when can you start? Anytime. I'll be here tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. And that was the start of my uh, experience here at the store. And I have to tell you that it's been, I am going to cry now. Sorry. <laughs> Don't make me pinch okay, you. sorry. Just go and pinch me. Anyways, um, it's been absolutely wonderful. I call this my second home. It even has the right paint color, yellow. So um, I absolutely adore this job. I adore Anne, the store, and the people that I work with, and the customers that come in each and every time um, with something new and fun for us to work on or something that we have to really, really work and stretch our brain to think about how we're going to solve or what we can do with it. But enough about me. Let's get back to Anne. So Anne, of course, has had many successes and accolades over the years. And uh, the one that caught my eye when I first came to work here was the fact that she made the cover of The Leader of Tomorrow. And that was in 2010. And I have to tell you, for the last <laughs> 10 some years that I've been here, she has been the leader. She has been my mentor. She has been my boss. But also, I still think of her as my friend. Um, she's She's done in wonderfully well and uh, just to top us off in 2011 we did an, an expansion and we took the property that was behind old Beauclair store and turned it into a huge classroom and and I don't know through foresight or or whatever and made us a beautiful media room and that media room has been our saving grace the last two years um not only have um, we had fun talking to you, but I think that uh, um, we've served the community not only with our with the skills that Anne and Leah and Barb have all brought to to quilting and sewing and embroidery and scan and cut and all the things, um, but to bring a little bit of contact with the human world for anyone who has been locked down in COVID for the last two years. So um, it's been really really wonderful. It was a very vital addition to the store. But besides the store and the success that Anne has with the store, she herself has also lent all of her talent, her experience, and her know-how to many other causes. Um, I know that she is really big in rotary. They love her. They can certainly use her business acumen. Um, she's worked with Days for Girls, which... 
of course it's right up her alley she knows how all those sewing machines and everything works and I know we lost her for a couple of years when she went on trips to Africa we're just glad she made it home to us each and every time so um, that's wonderful she has also sponsored new Canadian families and I know that um, she spent time I'm gonna I'm really crying now I don't I think I need a clone next do we have such a thing uh, oh, I found one, Anne. I found one. Anyways, uh, so she has worked with uh, families that came from uh, another country, new Canadian families that have needed some support in in um, getting used to what we here in Canada call home. She's also championed many causes, and right now she, the one that comes to mind is her cats, Mouse and Eddie mouse and eddie uh so she's right now got a campaign out there to raise funds for the company the group that she has uh got those cats from so please if you can support that cause but so she's championed that as well so um i just want to say thank you to Anne. Thank you for your vision, for being able to come and set up a store that the rest of us could come and call my sewing room <laughs> <laughs> and occasionally I've told people I own the store so we won't we won't dissuade them of that but yes it's Anne's store and I would like to congratulate her on her first 20 years as a quilting person as a store owner as a mentor and as an employer -er. um, I know that we would all like to wish her many wonderful years and I know that all of her work calls for a party of course we have to party it's time to party it's time to party 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 <laughs> anyways i wanted to just do this little tribute to Anne, and i want to introduce you now if you've gotten yourself into where we've been and how far we've come i would like to introduce you to Anne. all right come on in come on in and tell me tell me how's it feel 20 years <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyways so here we are feels, 20 years down the pipe feels like 20 years <laughs> yeah <laughs> not like yesterday no <laughs> anyways yeah Good so job. thank you very much miss ann mm -hmm. i'm very proud of you all your accomplishments and everything you've done and not only that but to give us a home um i don't know what we'd been like in as i say in the last two years if if we hadn't had a place to come to and a job to go to and uh, i know people suffered and i gotta tell you i really enjoyed the last two years because oh <laughs> i've been out here wacky wednesdaying so anyways i will turn it over to ann and stop yakking and let her have a little say as well oh, what better <laughs> way than Wacky Wednesday. Yep. Because, like you said, laughter is the best medicine and um, communication. And, uh, yeah, we'd always meant to have uh, recordings and uh, virtual classes and all the things that we were kind of got now. But, you know, pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon. And then COVID said, no, how about right now? <laughs> so <laughs> we had to do, we had to yeah. do that. And, um yeah, the morning of 9-11, uh, I was actually at the bank. Um, it was weird. It was a weird time to be thinking about life. I felt kind of um, guilty moving on with my life when 9-11 was happening. But the good news was we didn't, we didn't, we knew people that could have been there and then turned out things changed and they weren't there. So that was the bonus, right? Yeah. And uh, sure. Leah, Hi, Leah, didn't, come on in. Didn't eat your lunch, Miss Leah. Okay. Let me find a taller chair. Okay. She's oh, finding it. I'll, I'll just I'll she's, sit tall. She's well, going to sit tall. You could stand. I can then... switch chairs <laughs> with you. No, 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 no then, then you'll be too short. Okay. Oh, then I'm too short. short. Okay, I'm over. I'll move, I'll move back a little Congrats, bit. Congrats, Anne. Right. Yeah. Go. See? Phew. We're partying, girl. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Sandy's got all the fun stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> there, my girl. See? <laughs> Look at that. I can do this, too. We're so <laughs> good. Yeah. There's one for you. Here's one. Which color you would you, you like? You should have the gold one. It's like a crown. 
the other queen. The other queen. Right. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Snap my little neck. Yeah, don't, don't, don't Hurt, snap it. Yeah, just don't snap it. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pick it or just your... snap it. Yeah, so yeah. Mm, it's been a wild ride. Mm -hmm. And gosh, some of our people, um, some of our customers, I've known them longer than 20 years. Uh, they were customers when I worked elsewhere. Um, originally, I should have had partners, but by the time the doors opened, I was <laughs> standing all alone. <laughs> and um, my mom did come to work me work with me. She was my first official employee. And um, gosh, the sometimes it feels like ten minutes. And other days it feels like two hundred oh years God. since yeah. this morning. <laughs> yeah, that depends yeah. what's going on, yeah. right? Because because mm -hmm. there's life is also happening around us, and um, we've met some amazing customers who we've actually not ever met yet because we only met them through our Facebook. Yes. And um, you know, I know a lot of stores are doing their Facebook, and it's usually once a week. Some of them are doing every day like us, which is a good thing. Um, and we're reaching out to other Canadians, so um, they don't, because a lot of Canadians feel like they aren't, they don't have access to everything that the American customers do, and they do, they just don't realize it. And if it isn't through us, it'll be through another store. And um, not all stores are mail ordering, but a lot of them are, and, you know, support local, and whether that's um, your hometown, your province, then your country, and then move out if you can't find what you need. Move to a different place, different on the line, or different store. Don't actually pick up a move unless you want to come to Calgary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> we have room. Yeah. We might have a little we, bit. We have more space. vacancy than we did when I moved here. Yeah. Right. That comes yeah, and goes to no vacancy at all. To uh, We have a lot of space. Yeah. And um, a lot of people did move out during COVID if they lost their jobs or things. They went back to their, their hometowns or into different uh, towns and cities where maybe the cost of living was better for them. Mm -hmm. Or they retired early. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have that luxury. I need this yeah. job, Sandy. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> okay. We have to keep going. We have to keep going. I Always. like working. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I say, you know, this was our first 20. We have more to go. <laughs> there's more yeah. in us. <laughs> Woo! Yep. 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 So like it. Well, yeah. and you know can't do it without without support and it used to we used to be three thousand square feet mm -hmm. then we doubled that almost tripled it and then we increased it again the the back classroom mm -hmm. area is the same size as our original store it's amazing eh? that's amazing it's hard to fathom yep it is we're not expanding anymore okay this is it <laughs> We're expanding online. Yeah. Right? All growth will happen now online with yeah. our videos and our classes and our web store. And um, we've got a lot of great people. Yeah. <laughs> Phyllis. <laughs> okay. So Phyllis is already talking about the 25th as a bigger celebration. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. interestingly enough, so speaking, you um, mentioned Rotary. Mm -hmm. um, this will be a really big deal in 2025. Uh, Calgary is the home of the uh, Rotary International Convention. Oh, sweet. We'll, we'll have somewhere between 30 and 60,000 oh, people visiting the city for that's Rotary. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It will be. I've been to wow. several of those around the world. They are um, something to behold. And when you're in a building with so many thousands of people who um, all want to do good, see good, and are willing to throw down their money and their time to make things happen. It it's, would be very it's inspiring. A, it's a very, just, I've never been to a convention where you, yeah. you're you uplifted all day. Mm -hmm. And every contact you make are people like you who are trying to do, do good. better in the world. I think it's, that's awesome. It's super cool. Yeah. And then, yeah, totally. Mouse. Mouse was a hit last year. <laughs> yes. Um, Mouse has the biggest, his oh. real name is Quiet as a Mouse. Mm. He's not quiet at all. You can no. hear him purring two houses over once yep. he gets wound up. And last year we did um, Daily Purr with Mouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was he was a big hit for people who were trapped at home and just feeling a bit 
overwhelmed and discombobulated with uh, COVID. Just, and he was mass. adorable. He is adorable. <laughs> yeah, Denise, I do have some of the best staff. So, yeah, so um, Mouse came from a rescue called uh, Feline Rescue Foundation, uh, Alberta, and it was her fault. Yeah. So I will, I will, I will totally take the blame. But Anne came to work one morning and said, I think I want to have a cat again. And I have a friend who, who supports rescues all over Facebook. So every day I see pictures of cats that are available. So it's like, what about this one? <laughs> it's not my fault. She said yes. <laughs> well, and we said actually yes to Edgar. Yeah. Now, little Eddie. Uh, we got him to our house and he was he was so sad and shut down and he loves dogs and when he saw our dog he was so excited but our dog didn't want anything to do with them <laughs> because the cat we had previously was my mom's cat after she mm. passed and he didn't like dogs so he in no uncertain terms told our dog Max to bug her off. <laughs> so then Eddie came and he's like oh my god I love you and Max said I don't care. <laughs> and then um, when we were working with um, Eddie's foster mom, uh, Mouse picked Michael. Aww. He just, he loved Michael, and he was, Mike fell in love with him, but we're like one cat. We had agreed one mm. cat. <laughs> Approximately one week later, we had two. <laughs> and um, it, it's lovely to have the both of them. But Furfa, um, they take in the least adoptable, the less popular and um like eddie and mouse were fostered from feral to the mm. two lovely little boys we have now and that takes a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of commitment so i love the excuse the the words underdog the under kitties <laughs> of the world I like that. <laughs> because um they need people to help them and a lot of uh it, it's it's just the way it is a lot of uh, rescues that have big budgets and they have social media volunteers and they have an advertising engine um they'll see more dollars turning over but yeah. uh, i know for for struggles and most of their volunteers are so dedicated they pretty much uh put a lot of their own time and money into yeah. fostering which is crazy and um you know they've my two little cats are the two most they are unlike any other cat we have ever had in our life they're just super special they're so adorable i hope yeah. I, I did do a birthday fundraiser this year i don't yeah. need a gift i don't need anything i don't need carbs i don't need any more cake. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had cake earlier. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't say I didn't want, want any cake. <laughs> I just said I don't need cake. Yeah. But, you know, if people want to celebrate my birthday, they are welcome to uh, look my Facebook page up and uh, donate five bucks. Five bucks to uh, for, uh, for them. It will go a long way. And yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll nice. probably never stop bugging Leah about it because mm -hmm. I can. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. you know, but without Leah pitching in last year, because almost, it's coming up two years. It's a year and a half. Yeah. Anyway. Like 19 months of this. Yeah, I know. Like, not... I, I feel like saying a year, but it feels like two. Yeah, it's and then it's not mm -hmm. technically two. Yeah, it's kind of it, weird. But it's been a while since we've been struggling and mucking about with COVID. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to all our... Um, wonderful very best customers out there we appreciate you and we appreciate um whether you agree with vaccines or agree with masks you agree to wear it in our store when you're here shopping or agree to online order with uh, our order desk team which is led by sandy and um we is at some point going to go back to her day job Oh, no. when we remember what my day job is. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> as long as we had a regular day job, because our jobs turned into video recording, video taping mm -hmm. classes. Um, yeah. Our new owners' classes are all up online because we, our commitment to anyone who buys a sewing machine from us is that you get that education, but we're still not prepared for in house education. So we recorded it all and put it where you and anyone with the machines that we sell can access because it's a gift and um you know i've had some of our customers reach out and tell me how important this was uh we had one today yeah 
That yeah. brought tears uh, to my eyes. Wait, this, yeah. this, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so some, so cool. sometimes we wrap our um, our bundles with my sewing room in, ribbon, and this little gem came back to us today for all of our video stars. Yeah, thank uh, you. We really appreciate that. Very big surprise. <laughs> that was really sweet. And thank uh, you. You know who you are. Yeah, and we yeah. look forward to meeting you when you get here in person. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we 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 might have to make an appointment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh trim right and um yeah it's it's hard to believe 20 years mm -hmm. i won't say what i was doing 20 years ago yeah let's not talk wasn't here her. yet <laughs> wasn't here yet where were you 20 years ago come on now you was in high school learning to drive <laughs> Right? Yeah. But, but this is my second yeah. career and I've been here like four twice as long as I was at my first career yeah yeah so this is a way better fit I love it <laughs> yeah when I think of, that I would, I've been doing the same thing for 20 years so it doesn't, it doesn't compute no. and then um, Michael and I've been married 31 that Ooh. doesn't compute either <laughs> it just it doesn't how, same how math for 31 yeah, yeah. yeah right. like <laughs> well i think he <laughs> on my birthday uh so we opened the store because age age and numbers don't bother me but uh as said he said it's our 20th anniversary and we opened the store on my 38th birthday wow and um sandy mentioned that perhaps i scraped together every little penny and then borrowed some yeah i had to uh, Michael and I had to finance our entire endeavor ourselves. Mm -hmm. Every bank we went to said, best business plan we've ever seen. This yeah. is amazing. Uh, we won't give you any money. Yeah. Isn't that just... Yeah. So we figured it out. Mm, basically, we cashed in everything we owned. And my husband, key supporter, so thank you, Michael. And every day that I felt like I had an elephant on my chest and he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I just can't breathe. And one day I said, what if this doesn't work out? What if I, what if I cost us everything? What if we lose everything? And he said, we'll just pack up all our pets. And at that time we had a dog and two cats <laughs> and he, just like we do now. Yes. Yeah, and everything yeah, just keeps going around. around. <laughs> yeah. He said, uh, well, we'll pack up the dogs, uh, the dog. Oh, maybe it was two dogs and two cats. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, well, there was at least three pets, maybe no. four. And he said, we'll just pack us all up and get a nice little apartment. Yeah. <laughs> so thinking, <laughs> thinking about how that would go, this had to work out. Yeah, it's like, oh my God. Yes, right? I mean, we're really hard on and this And then one. the first six months, Michael was with me here in town. And then he went off working at, and I didn't see him oh. for almost three years. Oh my See, this is how you start a successful business. You ship your husband out of town. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I can focus all my time and energy yeah, on the store. one thing, yeah. And we were yeah. open immediately five nights a week, seven days a week. And now we're only open five days a week and no evenings and close Sunday, Monday. So big change there. Yeah. Um, and it, like I said, it was just me and my mom. Yeah. And um, I used to put in almost 80 hours a week. It's a long, so it's a good thing my husband was away. That's yeah, how our just, marriage stayed yeah, together. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, being married and apart for 80 hours a week, um, yeah, that doesn't really actually bode yeah, well. Yeah. But, um, yeah, still doing it. It's great. I'm glad you're still doing it. And, gosh, some of our, like, Ruth that you mentioned, yeah. um, she, just, uh, she just retired last year. And, Lordy... She was one of our first, mm -hmm. first uh, hires, mm -hmm. not the first, but one of the very mm -hmm. first. Yeah. And she was with us for, gosh, 15, 18 years. Yeah. Not quite yeah. the whole 20. Not quite the whole 20. We didn't, we didn't hire anyone in the first couple of years. Yeah. Um, but just me and my mom pounding it out. Oh my God. <laughs> and I was yeah. our first long hour. Wow. So you were double busy. And, oh, um, you know, all those toilets we clean every day? Yeah. I did all of them at the old store all okay, by this, myself. This is why she doesn't have to clean toilets anymore. I've done my yep. time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, even though it was just 3,000 square feet, it had carpet. It had to be vacuumed every morning. Oh, wow. I did all pain. that. Yeah, yeah, it's a pain. So yeah. she survived. Right. And now I got people. Yep. And she I got some people. of the best people out there. She's and... Covid did some flip flopping for us, and um, 
you know, some people that used to be with us aren't with us anymore, and they had their part in building us, and um, we've, in lots of ways, I'm still, the tw the vendors we started dealing with, I'm still dealing with the same people mm -hmm. nice. 20 years later, too. Yeah. It's, that's really interesting, and uh, some of our reps, uh, I knew them for 20 years. Yeah. Um, my longest uh, running one just passed away, yeah. as you know. Gloria. The, that was super sad. Yeah. But, you know, life moves on. But the good news is a lot of the people that are here have been here a long time. And I hope that they're here a lot longer, maybe longer than I am. Then I could <laughs> semi-retire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Come I in and guest so. teach yeah. between, yeah. between yeah. sessions in the garden. Yeah, I'll just yeah. pop in every now and then, stir the pot, and yep. head back <laughs> out to do some service work. Because yep. um, last, uh, just pre-COVID in March, I was supposed to be in Africa for a few weeks doing what I do with the uh, days for girls in Rotary. And that of course uh, got postponed. Mm -hmm. And as soon as things are ready to open up again, I'll pop off and uh, honor my commitment. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Well, and I know that you're putting things in place. You're putting people in place. So that will eventually happen. Like mm -hmm. Leah's, Leah's stepping yeah, up. Yeah, got to start hiring Leah. everyone younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> and, and we have hired some very nice young talent uh, just we recently. Have. And they have been great additions and lots of fun. What uh, I wonder is how yeah. many boys, other men, yeah. other quilt stores hire. Cause yeah, what how many have we, we got? got now? We've got one, two, three, five. Four. Five, six. We have six plus Michael, so we have seven. Yeah, yeah. We have seven guys. Uh, yeah, because we get tired of looking at everything. We're not else. sexist. We're not racist. <laughs> not racist. We might be not, a little ageist just, right now because yeah. I need people younger than me yeah, yeah. <laughs> to carry more load. <laughs> but, but, yeah. You know, yeah. the right people are the right people. It uh, doesn't matter um, orientation on anything. The mm -hmm. right people are the right people, and. Yeah. Um, we spend a lot of time together because we do. Yeah. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you might spend two thirds of your day at home, but a third of that's usually spent sleeping. So, yeah, so yeah, we spend sometimes more time together and, than we do with our family. Oh, and yep. some, sometimes when you are home, you're hiding in the bathroom because they just <laughs> won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Or have kids. That's my problem. Not anybody else. That's, that's the life of a mother. I know. I know. I know. For quiet time. Oh my God. <laughs> Leave me alone. I want to go to the bathroom. Yeah. 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 I, I often uh, do a lot of things at home in the bedroom. Yeah. Um, because if I want to sit on my computer and go to a Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. I sit on my bed because then that's the only furniture in the house that will accommodate me. Two cats and the and dog. dog. And the dog at the same time. And every now and then my husband comes yeah. in and sits on there too. What are you doing? I'm like, trying to be nonsense. In the yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, who zooms from the bedroom? <laughs> I do. But you know. Yeah. No. Everybody's dressed, but it's the only furniture big enough for the whole for family the whole to family. pile in for a Zoom meeting. And if they're if they're there with me, then they're not walking in front of the camera like That's all right. those other Zoomers. They're under control and they're not coming in right. half dressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doing what my cat did yeah. on Zoom last year when I filmed for yeah. home. Yeah, rear end. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's yep. what the cats are good for. Yep. 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 Just showing you who's really important. Yeah. <laughs> we yep. call that the one eye of doom. The one, <laughs> the one eye cat of yep. doom. Pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, got any questions? Burning questions? Oh, that burning you want questions. To ask? Um, Maybe they have questions about yeah, the last they, twenty they years. They might have some questions about it. Um, yeah, we're free to answer any of those questions. Um, anytime you want to stop in at the store and visit and whatnot, we're here. So. Um, Oh, I just want to let you know that I will be back on next Wednesday for Wacky Wednesday, Halloween, but I'm having Halloween all week. So uh, you drop on by and see what I'm wearing. Amazing. Anyways, yeah. Jump Ooh, by. It's not Halloween. Oh, nice. Chelsea, come over here, sweet one. <laughs> want to introduce you to our newest speaking member of, of the speaking staff. Speaking of hiring oh, children, you have to lean in front of. So, yeah, oh, I can oh, scoot in there, behind. There you go. Oh, 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 careful, honey. Don't break in. Don't break it. It wasn't me. I'm scooting forward. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. I'm taller than you sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> also height. There's no height restriction to working here. <laughs> no. Not everything's built. Some of it's built for Michael. Has Chelsea met Michael yet? 
I don't think so. Don't oh, how about you? Hear? <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Wait till you see my husband. He's six seven. I am so excited. <laughs> Well, I, was, I thought I'd give Sandy likes trivia. I'll give you some oh, random okay. trivia. Um, the highest number of employees <laughs> we've had were thirty-five. Oh, okay. The uh, lowest number of employees two, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me and my mom. And yep. then right now we are creeping up to two dozen. Oh, we're doing all right then. Yeah, yeah we're, doing we're creeping okay. back up because mm -hmm. uh, after COVID and the change in mm -hmm. hours and people retiring because they were like, hmm, yeah. they weaned themselves off the store. They you did. have to take a five week or five month vacation. vacation. Then you might be able to not come back. Come back. Yeah, it'd be hard to go that long without being here. Right. <laughs> my, even my mom, when she retired, she says, I'm retiring. On yeah. my birthday, I'm retiring. Oh. And like, then the next week she showed up. And she's yep. like. I don't know. I got up this morning and my car just brought me here, and it, she yep. she started to just show up randomly yep. to work, <laughs> and and then she finally settled into staying home. Yeah. But she was a sample maker for the last few years of her life, so she did and a lot of our the work. The best potato salad maker. I know. Right? Oh my! Oh my God! Mm. I dream of I dream of things my mom cooks for me. Oh, delicious. And um, yeah, and then. Hmm. So I have a question. Favorite class that you taught through all the years? Oh, well, that's hard. Because I love teaching more than anything else. If I could just have this store and teach, I would. Sandy in Camperville. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's changed a lot in the beginning. Uh, but I like I like uh, new things and old things. So sometimes I like it when I can do a hybrid class where we're doing something really old fashioned, but we're doing some things that are modern and we get this great hybrid mix but i think my favorite classes um often are for the beginners like brand new sewer brand new quilter mm -hmm. brand new embroiderer when they're brand new because i love it when their little light bulbs go off mm -hmm. and they figured it out for them for themselves and they know they're confident they just it all lit up for them but i like i like those and a lot of people think I don't like those because they're so naive and they're so backwards and all of those things that people will say about themselves when they're learning something. But no, I, 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 I love I love them. I would probably agree as a, as an instructor. The aha moments, yeah, with new sores is yeah. probably the most fun. Yeah, yeah. I like those. Yeah. yeah, the light bulb goes on and all of a sudden they're yeah. out of the front desk. And thanks to you, ladies, buying more. Well, because there's yeah, nothing here we go. as well yeah. for them and ourselves more satisfying than figuring mm -hmm. it out yeah. or right. the problem you've been struggling with. The thing that's been holding you back all this time is that that hurdles eliminated. It's so exciting mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, I've I've got a very crazy history for sewing, and um, I take all of that and mush it through a funnel, and it comes out the other end for whatever we need. Um, we, I I can't I worry about what I've forgotten because mm. i've i learned to make drapery i learned to tailor i learned so many things over my lifetime do you know i'm a milner yeah and, and a costumer and yeah <laughs> you, yes many things so i've been yeah. i've been a professional seamstress i've worked in factories i've worked on film i've worked in theater uh i i in edmonton i was an uh, assistant milner at the citadel theater and um yeah, that's true, yeah, and that is correct. Often, often the hurdles yourself uh, teaching. Um, I did teach kids for a while too, mm -hmm. and they're really interesting because they come to it with no rules. Yeah, like just um, rules are the thing that I can't do that. Why can't you? Well, because someone said so. Mm -hmm. There's really? no, there's no quilt police. No, no. There mm -hmm. or or clothing. Like when I was teaching kids, I was teaching mostly clothing and other little things. And one one young girl said, turned to me one day and she said, "Can I put a pocket on my shirt?" And I said, "Sure, you can put a pocket on your shirt. Where do you where do you want your pockets?" She wanted one pocket right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a good. Place. I'm like, but if you want your pocket there, that's the joy of making it yourself. You can have whatever you want, wherever you want, however mm -hmm. you want. 
whatever color you want, whatever material you want within reason, as long as it will do the thing. Certain things you, I mean, yeah. You don't want sheer organza for a bathing suit. I can. <laughs> <laughs> but I. If, oh, stash pot pie. Yeah, Rose, that yeah. was fun. We can still do that. I still have that program. Ooh. That would be all new to somebody. Yeah. It'd be um, all new to me. I don't know what. Oh, gosh, you yeah. guys, the, the programs I got up in my office that we could. Um... We might have to bring a few back, eh? Oh, thanks, Lana. Oh. Yeah, so uh, the things I've learned have mushed into a very. Um, the end way of doing things. Yeah, yeah, just a unique way. And the rules are rules. I mean, you got to you got to sew up a shoulder seam to put a sleeve in. Yeah, but there's variations even on that if yeah. you want to. Um, and you know, um, I love questions. I love <clears throat> I love the challenge of trying to find the answer. You know, and I'm flipping through my little database here, <laughs> <laughs> trying to trying to figure out if I know that, if I remember that, and where did I put it? Yeah. And digging that out so that I can help somebody um, mm. solve solve a, a dilemma or um, help them move forward in their projects. And um, you know what I love the most is like at the Oscars or something, when these big fancy rich and famous people mm -hmm. thank their third grade teacher. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, somebody... You know, there's a really rude saying out there. I'm not even going to repeat it about teachers. It's such a lie. Mm -hmm. And I had a lady say to me in a class one time, or a, a customer came back with something from a class. And she said to me, and I found it so rude and so bad. She said, don't you hate it? And I think she was another teacher. She taught stuff too. She said, don't you hate it when your students are get better than you? Oh, God, I wouldn't hope so. I'd hope that they are become much better than... Well, the way yeah. I see it is... If you've taught them well. Yeah. They became because of me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, you were right. part of the seed and mm -hmm. growing whether, that talent. Yeah. Whether, whether they win awards or are recognized for their work and whether they thank me or not, I know that I was the person that helped them move forward. Yep, that's right. And without that instruction, without me opening the gate for them, who would they have been? Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Right? And yep. uh, I, I don't consider them better than me because everything they can do, I can do. But it's it's not really that, it's not a competition. No. Um, I love to teach people. Um, I love to, so the other thing about being the teacher, I love to amass information. And I have sewing books that are 200 years old. <laughs> Pretty cool. I had to stop going on eBay after a certain point because I'm, I started to buy some books two and three times and oh, I'm like, yeah, I only yeah. need one copy. But I like to amass information and smoosh it all out. And I like to know how they did this and how they did that. And um, my curiosity about sewing and just people in general is what moves me forward. And sometimes I go to sewing classes and the people in there go, why are you here? You could teach this. I'm like, I need two hours, three hours, three days with yeah. people who feel the way about sewing that I do mm -hmm. and just time set aside yeah. to do the thing. Yeah, just learning something. And you can always learn something. I learn yeah. something from almost every student, every class. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Because I want to know everything, mm -hmm. but I don't. <laughs> yeah. You've probably forgotten more than most people ever know. Though. Well, I, yeah. I'm not sure I could tailor a suit today. Oh. I, I would struggle to tailor a suit, but um, it, it was an amazing thing to learn, to make, to do. And uh, I know that my sewing teacher, the one that um, made a world of difference to me in my life, mm -hmm. her name was Josephine Schnell. Josephine Schnell. And that lady changed everything about my life. Yeah. And I know that many of her students, she changed their life as well. Oh. Oh. And um, it's been a long time. Yeah. High school was a long time ago. Yeah, well, we won't talk about that. Just because right. some people just did it yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. <laughs> Apparently it was 20 years ago. <laughs> So yeah, so high school for me was forty years ago. Okay, I know it's weird. <laughs> you know, 
This isn't this. There, that you don't have to admit as the thing. Forty four years going to fast. Yeah, yeah. Just feels like yesterday. Yeah, it's interesting. Just, just, just because we're getting older doesn't mean we have to grow up. No. Oh, good oh, lord. Thank oh. goodness. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can yes. still do wacky. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, what what's the point of things if you can't be happy about <sighs> it? Um, mm -hmm. I love the traveling I've done. I had this biz bizarre thing pop up on Google the other day. Mm -hmm. And it showed me everywhere I've been in the last however long. Oh. And I realized how many different countries I've seen Same. and how many continents I've been on. And yep. I'm itching to do more. Yeah. And the other night I watched a travel program on Egypt because that's one, one oh, of the countries yeah. that I mm -hmm. have always wanted cool. to get into mm -hmm. and go to. And so, yeah. That's Maybe. I can, I can see in the next five years I'll be in Egypt. Okay, so on our 25th anniversary show, we'll be we'll be um, <laughs> interviewing Anne from, uh, let's see, a pyramid. <laughs> well, yeah. in 25 years, Rotary will have had their their big thing here. Yeah. You know, five more years. Yeah. Four more years. Four more years, yeah. 20, yeah, because yeah. we usually do those conferences in June. Yeah. And so in, yeah, in less than years. five years, we're going to have that here. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for that. Because mm -hmm. um, I met a lot of really interesting people around the world, and they can't wait to get to Canada. Uh, and a lot of them were in our first, um, we held one here quite some time ago, and a lot of people still talk about it yeah. as being one of the best conventions. So I'm excited for that one. And well, then, that sounds cool. You know, well, uh, I love that we can have our international teachers not fly, not travel, not be dogged, and have them come to us virtual now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, there's a lot of fun to be in person. This is fun, yep, this is but fun. it's super cool to have. We could have just about anyone come in virtually, yeah, and it wouldn't be a trauma for them. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, this is fun. Uh, this is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it can be as goofy as I like, and nobody can say anything because they're we over love there. It. <laughs> they're saying stuff. I know. They we love really Sandy. Sandy, but yeah. So yeah, Sandy, Sandy, when I asked, when we asked her if she could maybe do that a thing she's like no yeah. i can't teach like you and i like yeah. she said i'm not you and i said yeah. that's great because i don't want you to be me i want you to be you <laughs> which we find absolutely <laughs> adorable um sandy smile when i come into work every day makes me happy to arrive oh. well thank you thank you yeah because I... not everyone smiles at me <laughs> when they come in. Just as saying. long as they wave at you with all of their fingers you're good <laughs> That's, yeah, true. that's true. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's all good. And then, you know, yep. little Miss Leah, she yep. came to us. She was working part time at night. Yep. And in her interview, she said she did say she needed to speak adult for at least a couple days, yeah. a couple hours a day. Yeah. It'd be nice. Yeah, be good. Yeah. yeah, my kids were not quite one and two when I started here. Yeah. Right? And speaking adult, I remember that when you're mm -hmm. home alone with your small, small children yeah. all the time. It's a bit weird. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, seeing them now, they're. They're oh, so tall. Grown up. They're so Same. grown up. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. Leah went from part time to full time to tech time to everything time. <laughs> How's it going for you? How are you doing? <laughs> it's chaos. It's chaos. I, know. Uh, I appreciate the chaos. It yeah. is. It's fun chaos. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, and I get to. I'm like Anne. I just want to know everything. So well, right but, now I'm in a position where I get to learn everything. Yeah, everyone is always saying, I, I need to pick your brain. And I'm like, woo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. let's see what no, I remember. No, no, I... <laughs> it's a sign of cognitive, uh, you know, stability if yeah. I can answer those questions. Yeah. yeah, well, and I know that changing everything up around this story is our actual um, Alzheimer's prevention program. Mm -hmm. Mind you, some days I'm spinning in circles trying to figure out where Betty put it. Well, it's so... <laughs> It's so interesting when you get set on where stuff has been for the last yep. however many years. But yep. to all of you who join us um, last year, we knew that it would be important um, that you that you engage with other people, that you laugh, and that you continue to live. And um, you know, you've got to love something, someone, or uh, a cat. Can might I suggest a cat? They're adorable. <laughs> Uh, or any other any other uh, pet you might be able to squeeze into your house but um you know living and loving and laughter those are really important but mm -hmm. last year we also figured out that we also need to be kind 
and we need to be safe you know we just need to have some fun you need to be calm okay i need to calm down but i don't know about that <laughs> so we came yeah. we came up with those that sign off last year and oh i'm calm i'm sorry I didn't know. <laughs> that's okay i'm calm sandy's sandy's on I'm her sorry. Thing. i'm sorry and um <laughs> calm you okay. know when Sandy's not calm, it's usually more fun. <laughs> <laughs> calm, but, calm Sandy is, is so serious. Know. It's just it's so tiring. Serious. It's too serious. It, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> no. at all. But she's, she's always kind. And um, we've got to, to do those things to continue through this. And, um, you know, we're apart now so that we can all be together later. That's right. And you got to wear shades because our future is <laughs> very, very bright. <laughs> the future is very, very bright. Yes. So thanks for sticking it out for the long haul this afternoon, you guys. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you for your support through the years. Yes. And all the fun people we've met. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And uh, <laughs> the fella, yep. the fellas, we yep. often say, you know, the ladies, but we've got fellas. Oh, and we fellas. got our Neil in there. Yep. I got a new manicure, Neil, just for you. There's it, uh, but they sparkle be for Sandy. She loves it yes. when I come back. I like sparkles. The sparkles. Yeah. But um, it's been it's been an exciting roller coaster for the last little mm -hmm. bit. Hopefully, not too catastrophic for any people that we know. And hopefully, we if we had a part in keeping them calm, creative, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's I think we're doing all right. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Right? Five more years. We'll do a big party in five years. Do I have to do one every year? Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Chink, chink. Chink, chink. There's nothing in our glass, on, by the way. <laughs> That's because we have a no drinking award <laughs> policy. And I think it'd be bad if I was the one to break yeah. the rule yeah. on live camera. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, you guys. We'll see you throughout the week and the weeks see you later. to come. We're not going to stop this, are we? No. no. No, I have a timer on my watch that goes at four every day. This is just what we do. Yeah, <laughs> just what we do. Just what we do. Yeah. And for all of those people out there, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. And signing off. Um, there's